Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to draw a treble clef. Let's make a new document. Go to File, New, and choose Web for Profile. Click OK. Let's change the fill color to None and the stroke color to gray. Open the stroke panel and change the weight to 1. Select the line segment tool and holding the shift key on your keyboard draw a straight line. Go to the direct selection tool, select the line and holding the shift and the alt key on your keyboard move the mouse down to make a copy. Press Ctrl D five times. Open the Layers panel and lock the layer 1. Click on the Create New Layer icon. Let's change the stroke color to black and the stroke weight to 5. Select the Spiral tool, click on the artboard and type 90 for the radius, 90 for the decay and 4 for the segments. Choose the style on the right. Click OK. Select the Rotate tool, press Enter and type 175 for the angle, click OK. Using the selection tool, move the spiral between the second and the fourth line from the bottom. Now we will draw a line that will start at the end of the spiral, goes up to the top line and down to the bottom. Let's select the Pen tool, click on the end anchor point of the spiral and move your mouse up. Click on the second line from the top and holding the Shift key on your keyboard move the mouse up. Then let it go. Click on the top line, then go down one line. Click on it and holding the shift key on your keyboard, move the mouse down. Now click between the first and the second line from the bottom and holding the shift key on your keyboard, move the mouse down. Then let it go. Select the spiral tool again, click on the artboard and type 30 for the radius, 90 for the decay, 2 for the segments, and choose the style on the left. Using the selection tool, move the spiral to the bottom of the treble clef. We will now join these two parts together. Let's zoom in on the bottom part of our drawing. Using the direct selection tool, select the two anchor points Right click with your mouse and choose Join. Select the Delete Anchor Point tool and click on the bottom anchor point. Select the Convert Anchor Point tool, click on the anchor point and move the mouse down to make a curve. Now we will add a little circle at the end of the line. Select the Ellipse tool, click on the artboard and holding the Shift key on your keyboard, draw a circle. Let's change the fill color to black and reposition the circle. Press Ctrl-0 to see the whole page. Now we will need to adjust the curve of this part. Go to the Direct Selection tool, 
Click on the anchor point. Select the Convert Anchor Point tool. Click on the anchor point again and holding the Shift key on your keyboard, move the mouse up to change the curve. Let's make a few more adjustments. Go to the Direct Selection tool and let's move this side slightly to the left. Select this anchor point and press the left arrow key on your keyboard several times. Now we will change the width of our lines. Select the Width tool Click on the line and move the mouse outward to make the line thicker. Click on the other part of the line and move the mouse inward to make the line thinner. Let's zoom in on the start point of the spiral. Select the Width tool and move the two end anchor points together. Press Ctrl-0. Do the same with the other lines until you like the results. Let's close the Pen Tool window. Go to the Layers panel, unlock the Layer 1 and select it. And using the Direct Selection tool, select the top and the bottom line and press Delete on your keyboard. You can leave it as it is or you can turn off the visibility of Layer 1. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.